In this video, we are taking you to one of the planet's most remote destinations. For five extraordinary days, we leave behind the comforts of modern life to immerse ourselves in the traditions, mysteries and sheer beauty of the Mentawai tribe, one of the oldest tribes of Indonesia. As we venture far into the dense jungle, we will uncover their age-old customs, remarkable tattoo artistry and their deep spiritual connection to nature. We will introduce you to the faces and stories that make the Mentawai tribe truly remarkable. So get ready to embark on an adventure of a lifetime and join us as we step out of our comfort zone and into a world where time seems to stand still. The last bits. The last bits. Journal. Gonna need that. Gonna need that. And a hat. <laughs> and definitely this waterproof. Oh, let's do it. Oh, it's bright, I don't spread. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get ice cold butter. I don't get the concept. in the ferry now it's gonna be about six hours from this point we lose signal this is the last point of normality for us It's almost time to get off in North Sibiru and start the adventure to the tribe. You ready, Rio? Ready for the weather? I will not be destroyed by the rain. We definitely overreacted with the rain. There's nothing. There is absolute. Look, Rio. We come them for nothing. So after a long six-hour ferry ride, we have arrived in the north of Sibiru, and we are continuing our adventure to the tribe. It's super busy here. I didn't expect there to be this many so people, many people. Um, considering we're going into an extremely remote area but we still have a car a boat and then a long trek so we're at the midway point now yeah halfway we're with our new guide now what's your name sarul sarul, sarul. <laughs> we got you got right there yeah okay siam panama anda materlo ah nice to meet you yes namasaya sam sam dropped off at the wrong camp which is really confusing because there's no internet here and they kept asking what the name was and I can't think what the name is because rear plans everything okay so we're gonna head back now uh, I'm not sure how far but we're gonna go and hopefully meet Rhea she must be really panicking right now because we're separate and there's no internet here so there's no way of communicating <laughs> oh. Oh. thank you my friend Oh, I thought you got lost. I did get lost. Yeah. Ended up with some other group. Oh. And they were like, oh, um, who are you meant to be with? I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, a bit traumatic. Because I couldn't contact you either. I know. 
We are on the move. Hopefully we'll get there before dark. Apparently we will, but um, I'm a bit nervous about that, to be honest. I think this is our ride. <laughs> Rhea, they said um, you have to swim. I have to swim? Mm. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> I'm not joking. I wonder if there's crocs. Oh yeah, definitely. So we are starting our one hour trip down the river in the finished boat. We literally cannot move because if we move, we'll fall in. So I'm pretty scared right now. <laughs> Hey, you saved the fish. Cute. <laughs> Hello. Lucky man. Oh, he lives another day. Hello. So I'm so I'm so slow anyway, so I'm just gonna be even slower now. Um I'm very glad that yesterday we went all the way around Padang for about five hours looking for wellies and we're in the end we were like oh should we just leave it well i'm glad we didn't let's just say that because <laughs> they are needed right now is it like this the whole way <laughs> yes <laughs> oh my gosh well when they said it would be muddy i didn't realize <laughs> it would actually be like this i thought it'd just be a little bit muddy. rainforest yeah but like a little bit this is crazy Thank God oh, for wellies. End, and this stick is a lifesaver. <laughs> oh. Oh, so guys, we have arrived. We have. <laughs> Just about. Basically, we should have got here a little bit earlier because it was dark, like halfway through the hike. So we had to turn off the camera and basically just wait until we got here. Yeah. Um, we've met the family. They're so lovely. But as it's dark, we can't show you much right now. Also, we just want to get to know them a little bit before we start putting a camera in their face and stuff. Yeah. So we'll get to know them tonight. And then tomorrow we will show you everything, like where we're sleeping, the house. The cats. The cats. <laughs> yes, they've got cats, amazing, two cats. And now we're gonna have some dinner. We've got a cup of tea. We're gonna get to know the family and hopefully get a good night's sleep before we fully immerse ourselves tomorrow. <laughs> good night, everyone. We'll night. see you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, what a night. What a night. <laughs> Yesterday was just crazy. Yeah, we didn't tell you actually about the walk here because when we got here, we were really overwhelmed yeah, because really we overwhelmed. arrived in the dark and then obviously we had to meet the family. We're staying in their house, so it just felt a little bit rude to kind of like get the camera out yeah. and straight away. So we wanted to get to know them, but they're all so lovely. Um, so we can show you more today. Mm -hmm. um, we slept okay it was quite hard it was hard but, but i feel these, fine now yeah i feel okay now mm. but we've got like small mattresses mm. we'll show you um but these guys sleep completely on the bare wood which is just mad yeah, and no. they've never even slept on a bed which is crazy to they're us. so tough yeah they're really we're tough soft. we're soft <laughs> we're too soft <laughs> but um we'll show you our bedroom soon mm. Now we're just going to have some breakfast and chill out and get to know the family a little bit more. Uh, I don't actually know what, what we have got planned, planned, but... But we'll take you guys along. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, selamat pagi. Pagi. Si masege. <laughs> <laughs> Last night we arrived, we didn't get a chance to wash because it was dark. So now we're taking our first stream wash. <laughs> Every time that we leave the house, we have to come down this. 
And uh, you can imagine it in the dark when you need the toilet in the night. Let's do it. Do you reckon it'd be cold? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> uh, cold. It's cold, but it's nice. Oh, there's a spider web. <laughs> oh, another web. Oh, no. <laughs> no I, see, I could deal with anything but not spiders. Mum, I know you'll watch this and I know you'll be having an absolute heart attack because same. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get more dirty in here than I am clean. It's running water, though. Yeah, yeah, true. It's fine. Right, let's do it. Feeling fresh. Yeah, I'm real. That was one hell of an experience. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Right, we're gonna head for breakfast now. I think it's well deserved. Eggs on toast. <laughs> so we've had breakfast, oh, we tried some sagu. It's the local kind of I guess it's like a flour, they make it from palm and it kind of tastes like a breadstick but with a little bit of a kind of like a cheesy flavour, I would say. I don't know if Sam would agree. Now we're just chilling, some uh, neighbours have come over and I don't know what activities we have planned for today but for now we're just going to chill out. So this is us. This is our huge bed with the mosquito net. And as you can see, we've got our stuff from yesterday hanging up to dry because it's covered in sweat. Let me give you the grand room tour. Look at that. So this is where we sleep. Luckily, we bought blow-up pillows because we really needed them. I've unpacked here. Sam's trusty fan. Yeah, so, what do you think? Would you sleep here? <laughs> What is this? Uh, nut. Nut? Oh, it's a nut. So everybody, this is the shaman of our family. His name is Angelo. Angelo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's cats. <laughs> oh, it's so nice here. Everyone's just so friendly and smiley and cute. And another sh uh, shaman from a different, I guess, house Family. come. Um, and they just like, hold on to you and like, like grab you like with so much energy. Oh, energy yeah. So nice. They said that they don't know the time or the date at all. And they don't know how old they are. No. Um, <laughs> time doesn't exist here. No, time doesn't exist. And... They live really long because they have no stress at all. Even though they smoke like 50 cigarettes a day, they still live really long. Perhaps the funniest moment in our lives, we caught the shaman with the GoPro and he was holding it and he was really interested. So he's going to be in our vlogs from now on. All right, we are going on our first outing to find some grubs, which I think we're going to have to eat. So yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm walking all this way to eat a grub. <laughs> and you've got to eat it alive. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, yes, you are. No. If, you, if you don't, you're not welcome back to the house. I have cooked, and that's all. That's fine. Oh, I will not have peer pressure. <laughs> I will not be surrendered to peer pressure. I'm afraid. If the tree comes this way, come yeah. this way, you have to run away somewhere. Oh, I'm not running in this mud. Yeah. <laughs> So we just found out that the grubs are actually inside the tree. So in order to get to the grubs, they've got to cut the tree down. Oh, oh, okay? oh. Real. Well, he's cutting a big tree down right next to me and telling me not to move. And I can't run. <laughs> Oh. 
You have the grubs? Yeah. Yeah? Hey! We got grubs. Oh, yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my god! Tamara! Ah, More. Big one. <coughs> wow. Grubs tonight? I'll eat them cooked, but looking at it wiggle like that. Like, oh no, you know what I'm like, I'm, if you know who Cole Pilkington is, I am the female Cole Pilkington, my gag reflex is like, so bad, so I just, and I also feel like I might insult them if I start gagging, <laughs> but I'll eat them cooked. So what are they going to make from this? Uh, this, uh, this they tree. can use, or normally they take them for the wood, for fire. Ah, oh, wood for fire. So our lovely guy had made us this bird. For Ria, who loves birds. <laughs> How long did that take you to make? Just two minutes. <laughs> Why is he not doing anything? <laughs> no, we <man, that's> <laughs> Oh, sideways. Okay. Oh my god, we're going to be here all night. Bria! Bria! Go up and then go down. Oh. One big movement. There we go. Yes. Oh. Better. Yeah, nah. Nah. <laughs> there is no way. I'd rather go Tesco. <laughs> wow. Never done this before. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, there. I found one. Take it, take it. No, there, there, put it in. I'm feeding the family tonight. But you have to eat them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll eat them cooked. Yeah. More or less like a 20. 20, okay. okay. That's that good enough. But we'll try to find the other one. We're going to have one each, so yeah, still 18. Other, no, the other three. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it cooked. You cook it on the fire, yeah? Yeah. So when you, uh, oh, okay. you cut a tree, or you cut open a tree, or that tree, they will come like zzz, come to the tree, inside of the tree, they make egg. Right. When they make egg, egg, to become uh, like this. After that, when there's a big like this, it will become again like this. This is the first stage? The first sta stage, yes. And then third? Yes. Wow. Oh my God. After that, they were always like that. They're wow. moving. Wow. Look, around their life, moving. Take the head. Oh, and it's dead. Hmm. Really? Really? Banana. Really? Ah, yeah. What does it taste really? like? <laughs> Coconut. No, it Coconut. doesn't. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Yeah, you're to try. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh. That is part of a scorpion. So not only are there ants everywhere, but there's also poisonous scorpions. <laughs> wow. There's a lot going on, isn't there, Ria? <laughs> it's hard to describe because when you watch it on the screen, it doesn't feel like how it feels when you're here. It's like so hot. It's so difficult. There's ants everywhere and they keep biting me. And there's a, like an aroma of like, I can't really describe it, but really strong. It's like all your senses are enabled, like completely. And people just live like this every day. It's so crazy. Their lives are so hard, but they live so long. And like to them, this isn't hard apparently. Yeah. Which just goes to show that we are way too soft. Everyone from England needs to come and spend five days in the jungle yeah. and then go home and they'll be like, I'm never moaning again, like literally. Exactly. But yeah, it is, um, it is such an experience. Hey Goose, finish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we are now cooking the grubs over the fire.
Mmm. It tastes good. Oh, please, Rhea. I actually can't. I can't Rhea. do that. Can you take, yeah. take the head off? I did. Of Rhea. Head no, because that's it. how you pick it up. Nah, no, I can't. I Rhea? Can't, no. No, no. Rhea. No, if you don't do this, I'll never it's forgive not you. It's cooked properly. Ain't it black. is cooked. No, okay, can she have one that's more black? Oh, sure. Okay. Sorry. Oh. There you go. Take it quick, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, no, I don't want it. No, oh, get out of my hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is really hot to be fair. No, okay, maybe we'll, we'll let it cool down. <laughs> oh, Rhea. Oh, guys, this is so intense. Fuck off. Before I come, I was like, yeah, no worries, I'll try a grub. And now I'm looking at it and feeling it, and it feels like a piece of leather sofa that's all squidgy. You've got to disconnect from it. No, Rhea. I can't disconnect from it. Look, it's going to cool down, then she's going to eat no, it. No, I'm not. You I swear to... to God, I'm actually going to slap you. You have to do it. <laughs> I am not eating a grub. Now I feel it. You need it, to I immerse can't. yourself in the experience. You need to immerse yourself in this. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's better. More of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, now we're talking, Angelo. Which one? Not the one with the legs, no way. Okay, look, go for a small grub like that. That's that's cooked really well. Aww. I'll give you a very tiny. <sighs> Rhea, you will not forgive yourself. You have to. Yeah. Think, you're going back in time now. This is how you survive. I'm not sure if you read one, I'm like Eat it, one, pull more, off the head. one more and more. <laughs> I could, we get a dick yeah. tick. Get that out of the picture. We get a dick tick. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, no, it juiced everywhere. And, uh. <laughs> Look, hello. No. Oh, That's no. the way to do it. That's the way to do it. You get, we're going to give you one more attempt, Rhea. I'm not doing it, I can't. <laughs> Perfect. Bagus. goose. Rhea, you have to do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, Come let's on. go. I'm not doing it. I can't. Oh, that is so bad. One. No, look, stop. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> You're crazy. No, I tried. I tried I, it. I did I one. Can't. You need to I do one. I tried it and I can't. <laughs> Rhea, before she come into the jungle. Oh, I'm going to try everything. I bet. I'm sorry, but it literally is like look, the feeling of it is like terrible, like dodgy leather. And then I beat it and all juice come out. No, I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't. I'm sorry, okay. I tried. Right, we're gonna go now. Tawai Sagu Tamra Mananam. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, but yes. Thank you. I concur. Thank you. Summer summer. Yeah, Sima Okay. Are you? So we've trekked an hour and we are back at the house. We're gonna get back into the river. Because we are covered in sweat, and mud. mud, and insects. Oh, and then I think it's lunchtime. That river is a godsend. Yeah, it actually is. Whew. Whew, sweating. We just got back. We had a nice wash in the river. Honestly, that river is just a godsend. It's so nice and cold. Now we're going to have some lunch and chat more with the locals. I bet you could sleep now. I could have a nap. Grub? No. So I just woke up from a really, really good nap. Come out to this. <laughs> I love it. You've got to keep this now. You can wear that. Yeah. Oh, look at it. I love it. Brilliant. Love it. Now we're brothers. Okay, so we're gonna go on our next adventure to see how loincloths are made, like the one I'm wearing. I love this. I really want one. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me, I'm afraid. Oh. Hey, what though? My balls are hanging out. Oh, they? <laughs> <laughs> Your bum looks so funny. I bet. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so white compared to his. <laughs> My bum never sees the sun. You need to tan it. <laughs> Tomorrow you have to do some sunbathing with that one. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so what's the name of the tree? Baiko. 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 Baiko tree. Okay, and now we're going to make some loincloths for Rio. Oh, am I getting one? No. I'm, getting I'm just one. pretending. Move. <laughs> Stop! I can't run in this loincloth. <laughs> yeah, I almost died then. I'll tell you what, trying to run in a loincloth is uh, easier said than done. <laughs> this dude looks so funny. He's so strong. This is the process. If you want to look like me, you have to put some work into it. Like if you want to look this good, you have to put some work into it. You have to come to Indonesia. Yeah. Spend five days with a tribe and uh, get them to make you one. <coughs> Do I? Your ass is so exposed for pinching. So he's going to strip the skin off the tree, yeah? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. He does this just a lot, a lot of life. And here we have the final result. He's literally made tree into like fabric. That is pretty crazy. Thank you, once again. You're the man, Angelo. <laughs> You're the man. Ah, oh. back to the crib. You gonna have another wash? Maybe. Before it gets dark? Yeah, I'm gonna. Can't do it in the loincloth, though. Thank you. Just gonna wash it in the river now. So the final stage is to wash it in the river. And then you got yourself a loincloth. Look at that. That is so cool. But they are waterproof. So Angelica is making some yeah, fishing nets. Um, we call her Angelica, but her name's actually yeah, Bejano. Um, but Angelica's easy to remember. <laughs> <laughs> because we have Angelo yeah. and Angelica. Angelica. <laughs> She's making some fishing nets. Apparently they take five days yeah, to yeah, make, yeah. which is so crazy. Yeah. We've got She's, four right here. We've got four here. We've been, she's been sitting here all day making this net. Like, the patience is insane. Eva Chupa. Eva Chupa. Yeah. What is this? Fish. Oh, Eva. fishing. Eva Chupa. 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 You want my shoes? Shoes. <laughs> you want them? Yeah, shoes. You can have when we leave. Yeah, shoes. You want to wear them tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we love you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, So we've had such a lovely afternoon. We got back from the loincloth lesson. <laughs> I'm back in normal clothes now. But I prefer the loincloth. <laughs> I prefer the loincloth too. Uh, Sam bonded with uh, Angelo. Angelo. Yes, And massively. yeah, he's just so sweet. Everyone's so lovely. I think I'm going to take him home. Yeah, I think so. I think he was trying to say to us that he wants us to come back next year, mm. but obviously... December. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Mm. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh my God. I also went through all my clothes and I'm going to give some to Angelica because her t-shirt's ripped and she likes my one. So, so cute. So cute. And I think no, she... No, you're so cute. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, also, I think she wants to steal my wellies, but I said she can have them, but only... She even put them on. Yeah, she tried them on, but only after I leave because mm. I definitely need them here for the next few days. <laughs> so now we're just going to have some dinner um, and probably get an early night because I assume tomorrow's going to be just as adventurous. Bon appétit. Ah, merci beaucoup. Perfecto. Okay.
potato. Probably tell by the redness in my lips right now. It's very spicy. <laughs> but very good. I've got a little kit in here. Oh, that was so good. So it's 9 p.m. now, we're gonna to go to bed. We had an amazing dinner with the family and uh, it was just an amazing night. And we're gonna get an early one. Yeah, and we're gonna tell you more about it tomorrow because everyone's actually going to sleep now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Last night we slept pretty well. It actually got really cold, which is strange because the night before it was boiling hot. Me and Sam were fighting over the one towel that we brought with us to cover us up, which is jokes. Right now, everyone's just having breakfast, so I'm going to go and join them for pancakes, and then we've got another day full of activities. So we'll show you exactly what we get up to. Okay, so today's task is to go and find a concoction of plants to build poison for a poison arrow, which they usually use to hunt monkeys for ritual purposes. But right now, there's kind of like an agreement between the communities that they won't hunt monkeys because the population of monkeys is dying. So I think, what what would they use this for then, this poison? For the wild pig, the wild, for, wild pig. Ah, for the wild pigs. So we'll see exactly how it's made now. I can't believe you can mix certain plants to get a poison. Oh, men are so lucky they can be topless. <laughs> Bless you, man. Oh, friend. thank you. First ingredient. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Why? Just, just stop. Go oh. Why? What's on me? A bit of twig. Oh, it looked like a leech. See it? Oh. oh. Yeah, that was what was in my leg earlier. Oh. I just had my first leech experience. Oh. And uh, it wasn't that big, but you could definitely feel it sucking the skin. Oh. <laughs> Found the second ingredient. Oh, it's a root. Baglau. 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 Oh, like ginger. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've done the second round of shopping. One, two, three, one more. Chili. Wow. Chili. Yeah. Oh, so we're done. A goose. One more. One more. <laughs> oh, I love him. Aye. <laughs> <Aye. laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Rhea getting assisted everywhere she goes. Huh? And nothing. We have located the chili, which is the final ingredient to make our poison to put Rhea asleep. <laughs> I don't need help with that. <laughs> I sleep too much anyway. Here we go. Oh, how do you feel? That was easier than Bucket Luang. Yeah, because it was only like a Two fraction hours. of the time. Yeah. Now we're gonna, what we're gonna do? We're gonna watch them make the poison, see how they put all the ingredients together, and then make some arrows, I guess. Ducky, Blaingi, Buck Blow, And all this makes poison. If you have any enemies, this is what you need to do. Oh, 
Ah, that's um, really, really uh, poison. Ah, that's poison. It's early. Wow. What a nice photo. And now we leave them out to dry, and then that's it. Poison arrows with just four ingredients from Mother Nature. Crazy. So cool. So interesting. Okay, so if you eat it, it's not poisonous. It has to go into the bloodstream and it takes like five minutes. And apparently when they shoot the monkeys, they like shoot and then they'll climb the tree and like five minutes later, just fall down and then they, they're dead. Crazy. And then they take them for their rituals, but all from nature. Can you? Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. No. No, you have to open all open that, all, all the letter, all that. Huh? Between the ring and the arrow, uh, rope and arrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What, and then just let go? Yeah. yeah. What? You do oh, right you push it. Push it and then leave it. Oh! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Me, though. No, right, now I'm going to try again. Three. What's the stance about? Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Huh? What, yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yes, furthest so far. <laughs> <laughs> so last night we promised you that we'd tell you a little bit more about what we learnt with these guys last night. They told us loads of interesting stuff about their lives. Really interesting. But taught us so much that it's going to be hard to recap but we'll give it a go. We'll start with the <laughs> rituals first. Every time someone has a funeral or basically any celebration occasion, yeah they will go out hunting and they will likely catch a monkey or a pig and the poison that they use is what we've just showed you so they use the bow and arrow and they kill the monkey and then they use it for ritual purposes so it's a very rare occasion and you mentioned earlier as well it's only because there's only a certain amount left so they have an agreement now that they can't kill too many monkeys. Yeah, it's more pigs. More actually. pigs, yeah. And then when they kill it, they literally, they use it for the ritual purpose mm. um, and then they eat every single part of it. Yeah. So they believe that when they eat the brain, especially for older people or babies, mm. it will make them more intelligent. Also as well, if you've got like dementia or your brain is decaying, they believe that the, the brain of the monkey helps the old person and I asked if it works and he said it, it does. They're very in touch with nature here. So every time they kill something, whether it's a plant or a pig or anything, they'll speak to it first to ask for its forgiveness. A lot of the time they've raised the animal from young. So they'll say, we've raised you from young. We're really sorry, but now it's your time. Like we need you. When they cut the pig, they look at the heart and they see the answer from the pig. Um, so if the vein goes to the left, it says that something bad's going to happen. And if it goes to the right, it means the pig said no problem, like, and gives good luck. And it's usually within the next three days. And I, once again, I asked if that's actually happened in the past. And he said, if the valve goes to the left, something quite significant happens within the next three days. So if it's straight, then that means that they've been forgiven. Um, and that there'll be no bad luck to come their way. Yeah. And then they'll take the skull. I'm going to show you after, because it's right above us right now. Uh, they'll take the skull of the pig and they'll put it on top of the hut, facing inwards. And what that does is protects them against evil energy or even like snakes or scorpions. And they said it works. They yeah. haven't had any snakes come in or, or scorpions. Even though it's technically outside this hut, um, 
they've had nothing come in and they say it's because of these skulls. Then we just had like a little bit more conversation about our lives and we told them how in England, not sure if it's the same where you're from, but you choose your funeral. Mm. So you can choose whether you're buried or burnt, cremated, and they couldn't believe it because here there's no choice. You're no. buried in the jungle and your soul goes back to nature. Mm. And they believe in reincarnation, so over and over again, your soul will continue through nature. You could be any animal again, basically. This I, lo is, I love that. Yeah, and that's why they apologise to the animal when they kill it. Because it could be an ancestor. Yeah. Even though it's been the hardest thing that we've ever done, it's so rewarding so and to get rewarding. to know this culture and the family is so welcoming. Like yesterday, um, Angelo, who sat in front of me and we had a full conversation translated and he wanted to know about my family, wanted to know, like I said, about the religion and it's just so welcoming and warm. Mm. And you've taken a, a shine to Angelica. Oh, you? she's so beautiful. They're just, yeah. they're just so beautiful. I mean, they live completely different to us in every single way, you know, like the food, the hygiene, the the house, everything's so different, but inside they're still the same. Yeah. Like we still connect and it's just really lovely. It's just such an experience. Mm. So yeah, definitely book it. <laughs> I'm officially part of the crew. <laughs> Give us a twelve. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it nice? Banana leaf skirt. I love this it. This is what we wear to go fishing. We're going fishing with my darling mama. She's been making these nets for days, bless her. So Rhea's in a banana skirt and I'm in my famous loincloth. As you can see, it's all going on. This? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's fish. You can go straight in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she seems to be getting into the sides of the river to try and find things. I don't know if I'd be doing that though. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at this. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> caught anything yet? Don't think so. Rhea's first I catch. caught a little one. Oh, mm. I kind of feel so bad because like he's so small. Is there any point in like... Killing him. Oh. But I think he actually might already be dead. Yeah, he looks dead. Oh, he's ah. dead, he's dead. Mama, ah, no, he's not dead. <laughs> My tactic did work, just hover it over the water and one will come in. It did. <laughs> 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 so now she's propped up her net with a bit of twig that she chopped down. And now she's trying to scare all the fish from the side so that hopefully they'll flow into that. I would have done the same thing. Oh yeah? She learned that from me. Oh right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> this woman is so tiny, she's literally smaller than me, but she's machete mad. She's just now, I don't even know what she's doing, chopping down loads of leaves and I wish I could ask her, but we don't, we can't communicate at all. <laughs> it's been about 40 minutes so far, and we've caught how many fish? I don't know, not like barely any. Three? It's big. I caught one. Really caught one. I don't know if that counted. But yeah, it makes you really appreciate the work that goes into just surviving out here. Yeah, man. Just, yeah, the things that we take for granted every day it takes them hours to catch some fish. It's crazy. <laughs> She's so happy though. She's so cute. Wow. Big one. Mm. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> You feel so good? They need it to eat, so no. But you do, don't you? Yeah. It was cute. <laughs> we can't help it, can we? But this is the only thing that you can eat. Well, they, can, they can do it, but we shouldn't. I agree, because we have alternatives. It's 
close. This guy's like that. They like the whole lot, I reckon. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Savage. What is that? Alright, cool. I think we found enough shrimp and fish for the day, yeah. so we're heading back and we'll uh, show you what they make with it because I have no idea what they do with the tiny little mini fishes. But she's brilliant. Like, she's got her hands in the mud going like this and then just pulling out these like huge shrimps. Mad. Oh, oh, wow. Shrimp, man. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Hey. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a lot. So what, what will you do with that now? Uh, but how will they cook that? Probably you clean first and then put in a bamboo and cook it. Oh, oh the bamboo. So, ah, so that's why she was carrying the big bit of that. Right, that makes sense. So you clean it and then just cook it with nothing, just plain? Yes. There goes. <laughs> <laughs> you join? Every time uh, we take a dinner, lunch or breakfast, and someone's coming, like a new guest is coming. So we believe that we are long life or we are so kind, we are so friendly. Yeah. So we are believe uh, we are long life. Amazing. Wait, get this. And now the chickens come in for some dinner as well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Mm. Oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> the last lunch here, I'm so sad. Moi Siri Manua, the best chef in the world. Primero Chata Mayo, Mayo Mata. Hi. Oh, Mama. Tilek who have the wine and it to two years old, but two two years old has been in Saki Selimon. I miss you too. She wants us to come back. She wants me to bring her a blanket. Mm. Mm, a blanket. Yeah. Mm, you get cold. Mm. <laughs> One time, two times, two times. Hmm? <laughs> no. Wow. Magic. <laughs> Look at this! Ooh! Last feast! Oh yeah, I'll fish from today. And the shrimp? And the shrimp. Ah, she say you are like a part of the family. But if you come next time, we do like a small ceremony. We make like a sister or brother. The last meal. How do you feel? No words. Really sad. I think we're gonna cry. Yeah. We <laughs> have like, this music on. We have like half hour before we have to say goodbye. You are to remember <laughs> here. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I don't need to remember because oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm coming back. We both got given a necklace to remember them by, so sweet. <laughs> Do you have a message for him? I will see you in July, yes. Yes. And keep this. Yeah. Okay. This will give good luck. Okay. I'm going to keep this one. You come back, it's still there. <laughs> yes, it will. I'm really going to miss you. Are you getting emotional? Aww. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Tell him he's very special and his family are amazing. <laughs> See you again. Oh. 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 What an emotional experience. <laughs> and I never cry. Never. Literally never. Never ever. Right, so hours hike back to the back to the river boat. But we promised to return in July. And we'll keep our promise. Even if it's not July, it will be next year. Yeah, definitely next year. <laughs> Hello, I said thank you so much. Oh, I'll come back to see you soon. Bye, Mama. Bye, 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 Bye,